Good morning, Kellenberg Memorial family. My name is Father Matthew McDonald. I'm an associate pastor, also known as a parochial vicar, at St. Mary's Church in Washingtonville, New York. I'm a priest of the Archdiocese of New York. I was ordained by Cardinal Dolan in May of 2014 to the priesthood. I originally grew up uh, in Limburg, New York, and Long Island went to St. Raymond's Parish in East Rockaway, and I'm a member of the Kellenberg Memorial Class of 2002. Today, the church celebrates the Feast of the Annunciation. Today is a solemnity, so it's a day to party it up. It's a day that you can have the things that you gave up for Lent. The Annunciation is spoken about in the Gospel of Luke, in chapter 1, verses 26 through 45. That's the event where Our Lady, the Blessed Virgin Mary, said yes to God's plan for her life, which was revealed to her by the Archangel Saint Gabriel. And that plan was this, that she was to be the mother of God, the mother of the Messiah, Jesus Christ. And when she said her yes to God's plan revealed to her by the Archangel Gabriel, which is known as her fiat, Jesus, the Son of God, was miraculously conceived in her womb by the grace and power of the Holy Spirit. Now the events of the Annunciation is remembered in two important areas. One, it's remembered at the actual place where the Annunciation took place, in the crypt of the Basilica of the Annunciation in Nazareth, in Israel, in the Holy Land. And in the crypt are the remains of the house of St. Joachim and St. Anne, Mary's parents. And in the remains of the house, there is an altar that has a Latin saying on it that says, Hic verbo caro factum est. Here the word was made flesh, for Our Lady stood where the Annunciation happened. Also, the church remembers the Annunciation every day um, when she prays the Angelus Prayer. The Angelus Prayer is normally prayed at 6 a.m. in the morning, 12 noon, and 6 p.m. in the evening. Now, the world's going through a crazy time with this coronavirus pandemic. We have a lot of people to pray for, the people affected by the coronavirus who are sick with it, the people in quarantine for their protection, for their healing, for protection and healing of the healthcare workers who are helping the sick, who are diagnosed with the coronavirus. Pray for our Holy Father, for President Trump, for our cardinals, our bishops, our priests, for wisdom, for that they be given a strong faith and for courage during this time to lead us in the ways that we're, we need to be led to protect us and to give us the sacrament to give us the sacraments when we're able to. Um, let us also pray for the Kellenberg Memorial family, for all our own families, for our protection, and for the end to this coronavirus crisis as well as the intentions that we bring in the silence of our hearts. Let's take this time to pray the Angelus together. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived by the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death, amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord, be it done to me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, most holy Mother of God, that we be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ thy Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. And through the intercession of the Blessed Mary of the Virgin, St. Joseph, her spouse, St. Michael the Archangel, St. Gabriel the Archangel, St. John the Baptist, and the Blessed Apostle St. Peter and St. Paul, may Almighty God bless and protect each and every one of you, the Father and the Son of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless and stay safe.